I don't regret the things that I do. Yo, I'm proud of what I am. I'm proud of what I've done for my country. Yo, sit there in judgment. I say to them, you got a problem with me, you say it to my face. So I put up with a lifetime of people trying to cut me down. But in the future, I swear to God, you better run. Because if I ever catch up, I swear, I might teach you some manners. Part of what our job is with the X-Men franchise is to figure out which new characters we would introduce. We have all been huge fans of Blob. When I was developing the first X-Men, we had a script that included the Blob. The problem with the Blob is that there is a, an expense that goes with it. So we never really had the budget to do it. This time we had less mutants with demanding physical powers so that we could involve the Blob. You know, it was tricky because we had to get somebody who would be able to be the most powerful, muscular individual at the beginning of the movie. And then in, later on when we meet in the movies, a guy who's eaten himself into the most enormous man. We needed somebody very tall, and Kevin Duran came in. Totally game to put on a fat suit, which, by the way, weighs a lot. When I first got offered the blob, I thought that someone was playing a prank on me. <laughs> I did not think that I was gonna play Fred. And when I really thought about it, I got so excited to get to disappear into this huge, almost bipolar type, you know, all over the place. He could flip on a dime. He could be telling you something really charming and funny and then punch you in the frickin' face. Fred? The tank. The tank. When he's the what we call war blob, the pre-boxing fat blob, the guns here are just ginormal. And his, his chest and his back and his neck are all added on so that he's just an enormous human being when he walks in the room. But the makeup is very good. When we were shooting in Sydney, a lot of the extras came up and go, wow, how did you, what did you do to work out to be like that? Get <laughs> I wanted a guy who looked like he was this big, tough guy. I don't know. It's embarrassing. But in some way, is a little bit of a softy because, you know, he has a great line in the plane. Oh, Jesus, Fred, you just met her last night. I love her. You love her after one night. She's a gymnast. He just taps the humor of that whilst remaining absolutely true to the sort of seriousness of that character. That endears him to us, so that when we find him later on in the movie, in this giant suit, there's a sort of lostness to this guy, and even in his aggression, we understand that he's a guy who's basically comfort eating to an extreme degree. Hey, Fat, Fred, um, so you remember that girl when she was about 85 pounds, huh? Oh, that's funny. You're still so funny, Logan. One of the signature things that Wolverine does is call his adversaries Bub. And uh, we needed to get the name Blob out. Come on, Bob, for old time's sake, huh? Did you just call me Blob? No, but... <laughs> So we're playing with the mythology of having the name Bub and yet trying to use it in a way that that's just tipping the hat to, yes, we know he calls people Bub, but here's how Blob got his name. I told you not to mention his weight. Why'd you call him Blob? I didn't call him Blob. I said Bub. The original sequence we had with Blob was in a supermarket. But we pre it and planned it out, and it just became too big. And so that's when we were thinking about how can we do it another way Doing it in the boxing ring and now seeing him and putting them one on one seemed like a lot of fun. It's got to be the biggest fat suit that's ever been created. We used about a half a ton of clay and sculpted a very huge body. And then they'd even plug in the cool suit. I have never been so hot. They had this tubing that went through my t shirt underneath that was hooked up to an ice box. So between takes, they would hurry up and hook me up to the ice box or else I would literally melt. This fat suit that he wears, I don't know how he moved around in that thing. I think at the end of the day, when I stepped on the scale as Blob, it was about 90 pounds heavier than what I was before I put everything on. All right, so like I'm eating a lot of food here, trying to get myself ready for Blob. So we're gonna start the process um, and uh, you know, come along for the ride and watch me turn into Blob. We 
sculpted over Kevin Duran. We created appliances to really fill out Kevin's face. Am I doing my showers what? today? And that was maybe about five pieces of rubber that fit on, on him, custom made to him. Do I look like Blob yet? Get in there. <laughs> and then a wig on top of that. It's starting to look beautiful here. Yeah. Very beautiful. You know how long it would have taken me to get to a thousand pounds? Years and years. Yeah. <laughs> so they would have hired, they would have had to hire me in, in 2003, yeah. 2002. Just eat the whole time. Yeah. Uh, and then you get cut out. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's about a five hour total process to get him in the makeup and the bodysuit. Love is ready. Kevin could move around in it. He could sort of find his own sort of place in this thing and jump around. And uh, he sort of stretches at the beginning of the fight. It's really funny. And that was sort of his little gag that he did. What I wanted to do was get a lot more fat jiggles when he hits uh, Blob. And so he wanted to get some sort of sloshing around of, of his fat. So we actually scanned this actor. We have a, a head to toe scan of, of Kevin in his costume. What we did is we kept his arms, we kept his head and uh, a little of his trousers, but you can see down here, actually it's below frame, you see a little bit of the, the fat wiggling and jiggling. Hey, guess what? The Blob is gonna be a massive favorite of the kids, I'm telling you. He's just, he's hilarious. Don't be the Blob, kids. <laughs> be the War Blob, don't be the Blob. <laughs> don't be Fred. Don't turn into a set, just go do your exercise. Step away from the computer and the chili cheese fries. Get yourself some exercise, or else you'll experience your demise. 